Hey guys, what is up? It's Colin from Fishing the South TV, and today we are going to talk about moving baits, which is definitely the largest category out of all. This is not all of my moving baits. This is only two tackle boxes and one package of soft plastics. Of uh, this is probably only about a quarter of my stuff. And yeah, let's get into it. Alright, the first type of moving bait I like to throw, I have a lot of success on these, is a uh, just a soft plastic paddle tail. This one's rigged up on a uh, belly weight. It's, I don't even think this is a swim with bait hook, it's just a wide gap hook. And the other way I like to rig these, I don't have them on me at the moment. Uh, our jig heads, you just take part of the head off so it uh, looks more natural, and then you just rig on a jig head. Uh, but if the fishing more cover and stuff, I would definitely recommend going with something weedless like this. So that's it for the soft plastic swim baits. All right, next we're going to be talking about spinner baits, and I believe I have it. Yeah, I have one chatter bait in this box. Uh, chatter baits are really good. This is a mini one. I don't know why I have one of these, but uh, you usually will throw something like it's a soft plastic swim bait on the back of one of these, and uh, you can either rip it where you pull it up really fast and let it fall back down, and this blade will make a basically like a chattering noise sort of thing, and you can do that, or you can just swim it and. I like just swimming it, but a lot of people find that ripping it up, kind of what some people do with the lipless crankbait works the best. And next we're going to talk about uh, spinner baits. These are definitely one of my favorite big bass baits. Um, this one's in sexy shad, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it has This one has two willow leaf blades on it. And always when you're fishing a spinner bait, use a trailer hook. This one came with a trailer hook. That's one of the things I like about some of Strike King's spinner baits. They include a Gamagatsu trailer hook. And you can use trailers. That, that's tra When I use a trailer, that's the only time I don't use a trailer hook. Uh, I just found if you use a trailer, you don't typically need a trailer hook. Although I will miss some from time to time. But... It's a lot more consistent. This one's one of my favorite. It has two uh, gold little leaf uh, blades, and then I have a zoom grub on the back. So that's it for spinner baits. Um, so yeah, that's spinner baits and chatter baits. All right, this tackle box uh, holds a couple of my go-to. Uh, moving baits for hard baits. So there is some soft plastic so here. This is actually was recently in the mystery tackle box. It's a kind of like a uh, umbrella rig, but it ha I put it came with some grubs, but I changed the grubs out to uh, kind of like a watermelon seed uh, uh, grub made by Zoom, and then the back one is on a jig head. But I'm probably going to put a crankbait on there or something when I can, when I find one that I really like on there that works well. And I got a, I don't know why this is in here honestly. Uh, this is another soft plastic swim bait. Should probably just put the, uh, with that. And this is a, this is an old one. I got to change out the hooks on it soon. This is, it's caught a lot of fish uh, for my dad. So he. He gave this one to me, and it's a jointed swim bait. It has some rattles in it, not not very much, honestly. And it's, I would say it's about one fourth ounce. I don't know the exact. But then we got crank baits. I think this one's a medium diver. This one's beat up. Uh, has two treble hooks, a lot of rattle, rattles. Uh, it's kind of it has a silver side, black back, and an orange belly. And then this one's kind of like a, this 
one's a fire tiger. This one's a shallow diving. Also got to change out the hooks. Has some good rattles. A lot of rattles in it. Uh, this is a very good one if you're fishing small ponds and stuff. Kind of like a smaller size like this. And this one is one of my favorite crankbaits. It's a sexy shad chartreuse. I'm pretty sure KVD uh, shell diving crankbait. And a lot of the, I'm not, I'm a shore fisherman. So a lot of the crankbaits I have are shallow or medium. I don't have a lot of deep diving. And then uh, I guess we'll go to lipless. Lipless crankbaits are a very good bait to throw. And I use rattle trap. Has good rattles. Uh, sticky Yamagatsu, or is it Mustat? Can't remember. It says in the package when you pick them up. One of those two, they're both good. Uh, has very good hooks. It's a very good action. And this color, this kind of orange red crawl imitation, is money during the sp uh, spawn in the spring. Uh, this is definitely a go to bait during the spawn. So I'll probably have a video of me during the spawn catching bass and this will probably be the first bait I'll use. And all these are half ounce, these lipless crank baits and all of them are by a uh, rattle trap. And I got a silver one with a blue back and I got like a natural bluegill kind of one. And uh, then jerk baits, these are, I, I have a lot more stuff than this but this is just like my go to. Uh, just like a smaller tackle box and I got to change one of the hooks out on these I might as well change both of them out this one's kind of bad but I found this and I'm pretty sure it's a Rapala it has a feathered hook on the back I do got to change that out but I found this it's a shallow diving and it's a very good looking jerkbait and this was also in the mystery tackle box uh, for this month and this is a lucky craft and it's very, very good jerk bait. Has three sharp travel hooks on it. Um, is it same one? I guess it's the Lucky Craft pointer. And it's shallow uh, suspending. And it's kind of like in a gold shad color and with a black back. Sorry if there's background noise, the TV's on. I forgot to turn that off. But uh, let me show you real quick before. I close out this video, another really good uh, soft plastic for swimming. This is grubs. Now these are, these white ones are from the umbrella rig sort of thing, but these are Zoom. They're 96 cents. They're meant for, they say panfish, but I use them for bass and they are just money makers, honestly. That, I rig it on a jig head and on a slow day this is one of the best uh, baits to throw and you can pretty much catch a fish anytime on one of these and black is a really good color especially if you're fishing dirty water and then uh, white or green pumpkins really good and clear I'm kind of glad that uh, they included some white grubs and these are a lot smaller size but they include some uh, white grubs with that uh, umbrella rig in the mystery tack box and this color is really good in clear water so that's uh it for this video on moving baits uh hope you guys enjoyed um leave a like and subscribe and go check out my website where you can uh view articles now on the blackie rig texas rig and should be up uh the day after this video is posted on moving baits and go check out my Instagram at fishing the south TV and yeah that's pretty much it guys uh see you in the next one peace